Hey, what is up, guys? This is the FNH here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you guys can easily buy businesses online. All right, and basically, these aren't, sp um, you know, they're not any specific industry, they're not just online businesses, they're actually businesses that you can find in your neighborhood, in your town, in your city, you know, just different uh, kinds, all different kinds of neighborhoods, uh, all different kinds of neighborhoods, and all different kinds of businesses. All right, so the website is called Biz Buy Sell. Okay, so um, you can either sell on here also, but today I'm going to be just talking about the buying side, okay? So um, this is more of like, I guess, um, on how to make money, right? Um, it, it's not passive, right? Since you are, I guess, you do have to put work into it, D depending on the business. Um, it, it would depend if it's passive or not, but um, let me just show you an example, all right? So I'm on the website, uh, find a business, right? Uh, for the categories, I'll choose all business categories I live in New York so I'll keep New York County um, let's do Brooklyn okay uh, which is Kings County all right um, let, let's keep no minimums or no maximums okay let's just see what's out there and what's available All right, so you can see over here, the first one is simple and busy traffic, profitable slice business. So basically a pizza company, okay, and they are selling it for $300,000, right? The cash flow is $275,000, all right? So let me close this. All right, so just from the beginning, the top three are pizza stores or pizza restaurants. Right, um, you can see the third one's pretty expensive, uh, 1.3 million. All right, um, their cash flow is four hundred thousand dollars. All right, let's just keep going and seeing what else they have. Cafe stores, um, you will probably find a lot of these uh, cafe stores, right, or like coffee shops, pizza stores. Uh, piece of restaurants I should say and especially depending on which neighborhood in New York you'll probably find some delis also like uh, discount stores or um, you know uh, something some like a small grocery store or something okay because they have a lot of those um, you know single family owned stores like that so a lot of people do sell it all right so let's check out this uh, cafe store cafe restaurant okay uh, Kings County busy cafe for sale all right so they're asking for ninety thousand dollars. Okay, the cash flow is a hundred thousand dollars. Gross revenue three hundred thousand. Okay, uh, rent is three thousand a month. So let's see, cash flow is basically um, arrived by starting with your net before tax profit, then add back in any payment made to the owner interest and any depreciation of assets for example if the net profit before taxes was a hundred thousand dollars and the owner would pay seventy thousand the uh, cash flow is a hundred and seventy thousand okay so basically this is a hundred thousand um, dollars after everyone got paid uh, including uh, I should say including the amount everyone has gotten paid okay so um, you know you should also keep into consideration that this hundred thousand um, dollars is basically what they made at the end of the year. All right. So you know you 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 would want to read their description, right? So that's important. The over here the details. So you can see the real estate is leased, so they do not own the building. Okay. So you you do have to. I I think I seen something about lease. So there's 11 years on the lease, so that's good that the lease does have um, quite a few years on it. Okay, you don't want it to be, oh, the lease ends like in a year and they're not allowing you to renew the lease. So that has happened, so you do want to keep that in consideration, right? Um, you know, they'll tell you what the facility owns, right? Five refrigerators, two freezers, chairs and tables, sandwiches. Um, yeah, it's coffee brewers. So you know, it's, it, you can tell it's a really small place. They only have like they have very limited amount of um, you know facilities or li limited amount of assets in the um, place itself. Um, there's only one picture, but um, yeah. So you know, you just do this. You and especially if it's in your neighborhood, you would want to go to that location 
and see um you know just see the people see how much traffic is going in are there actually people going in and out you know how how are they with the customers do the customers think of this as a good place nice place a place with good food or not you know you want to do your due diligence on it you know and you know you don't want to sp- since you are spending a lot of money you don't want to be um you know the last thing you want to do is ma- make a bad investment all right so um you know this is oh they have a laundry mat here so yeah you know there's a lot of different um types of businesses right let's check in a different state um you know somewhere on the west side let's see Oh, they also have different countries as well. I didn't know that. Let's check California. Right there. All right. Um, so the counties, not really too familiar with the counties in California, but let's just do San Francisco. All right, so here you can see there's a Mediterranean restaurant, 250,000, and it says can convert. So I, I believe it, it means if you do, if it, it is possible to convert it into a different restaurant, so it doesn't have to be Mediterranean. So if you wanted to buy it and turn it into an Italian restaurant, um, I believe they are saying that it's it can be easily done. There's not too much, too many changes needed for that. All right, sushi restaurant, 250,000 right um the thing is uh, these ones don't really say their cash flow so let's let's look at this sushi restaurant you know and see what information it provides so currently averaging 60 to 70 thousand dollars a month in sales uh so you do get the beer and wine license so that's pretty good six employees you know uh reason for selling has other interests so you know you do want to look at their reason for selling um obviously they can easily lie about it you know but um you know a lot of people sell it because you know this is not what they want to do for the rest of their life you know they they made a semi decent you know successful restaurant but then again they they have other things they want to do with their life they don't want to be working in a restaurant you know managing the restaurant uh for the next 10 years you know of their life so i mean that's understandable you know so also the lease is 7150 all inclusive so you know that's a high amount but you know that that's up to you for, to decide so yeah you know this is basically you can buy franchises here also you know if i go back to the home page right uh there's franchise opportunities and then you know you can let me click it, franchise and then you know you can click it to let's say what's the max amount of money you want to spend so if you're starting off you know you don't want to spend too much let's just say twenty five thousand dollars max since that's the minimum i can put right so these are the different kinds of franchises that are available for you uh you do want to do more research in these smaller franchises because they do tend to be less successful right um so you want to do your due diligence on that but um you know uh this video is already long enough i'm not going to talk about which uh franchises you know someone getting started should invest in but yeah um let me know what you guys think about this site um i personally have not used it but um you know i've heard about it i've done my research on it it does seem legit um yeah so let me know your comments leave them down below if you have any questions those too make sure to like the video if it helped you or taught you something good and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time